now I'm just going to give you an overview, summary of the whole drawing process. So the first thing I'm going to draw is the centre line. Every guitar has a centre line. So the next thing to do is to draw the nut and draw across each side and make a mark. The next mark we make is for the scale length. I've chosen a scale length 25 inches. From the takeoff side of the nut, I'm going to mark 25 inches. The next decision is to choose how many frets. I'm marking the last fret, 22nd fret, plus one, end of the fretboard. We've got the ends, we need the width of the fretboard. So where does that come from? It comes from the bridge. My E to E spacing is here, and then I've added four mil either side. Now I can draw on the sides of my neck. Okay. I've chosen this headstock. I like this headstock, I drew it myself. It's a nice roundy shape. If you do design your own, you have to be really careful about where you put your tuners. Now, the pickup locations, there needs to be a two mil gap between the end of the fretboard and the start of the pickup. We need to make sure this is on the center. So we line that up and then we can use these two marks to align it on the center line. So it prints through quite faint. And once you've gone all over the lines, you can peel it back and just check. The back pickup is 20 mil from the scale length line. I've marked two humbuckers. The next job is to draw the body shape. One thing you could do if you were making your own shape, if you're not sure how big to make it, get another guitar, roughly draw around it, use that as a starting point. Why not? The job of the body is purely just to hold all the other parts in place. Now I'm not going to tell you about every different type of knob and switch there is. In this case, I'm just going to choose simply a volume, a tone and a switch. Draw around them and then we need to make a custom control cavity. All it is is a hole that's big enough to accommodate these switches. Um, and there's also this smaller recess. This is where the control cavity cover fits. We're going to talk about the, the um, neck joint style and then we've got body styling which is the carving. At the very least what we do on the back is usually we do this um, we call it the belly carve. Because we're looking at the front of the drawing and the belly carve is on the back then we use a dotted line to represent that. We started with a centre line and then we made decisions as we went. Each decision we made I, I wrote down up here actually I filled it in at the end but don't tell anyone. This list here, all your decisions, this is your order list. So now you know what, what you need to order. Mm -hmm.